Hello and welcome again. In the previous video, uh, we discussed a little bit more about the structure of the DAS and we were actually talking about uh, the, the rounds and how the F function was crucial in, in the rounds. Now, let's recall a little bit uh, more of what we discussed about the, the, that uh, function F, the F function. Now, one of the things that is important here is, if you remember from the last video, is the F function has two inputs. One of the inputs is the right-hand side of the previous block, which goes here into the F function, and also the key, uh, the sub-key coming from the key decay sub i, which is a 48 uh, bit. And the right-hand side here is going to be a 32 bit. And remember, that's because this whole block is 64 and is divided into 32 bits on the left, 32 bits on the right. So the F function is going to take these two inputs of 32 bits, or what we call RI minus 1, which happens in the ith round, and the KI uh, subkey coming from the actual key K, and the output has to be a 32 bit. So that's what we said last time. And I remember if you, you remember the last video, you saw it with the left hand side, and then of course this goes into the right, and the right hand side goes into the left. And that's how the picture is. But we are interested now in looking exactly at what this function f here is doing. So let's look at a little bit more of a, a picture of a picture here what the f is. So it's going to look inside this box. So we're going to open it and see how this this function f here, the structure of this f function f is. So I'm going to go scroll down here. And you remember the formulas. Uh, this picture that I'm going to show you here is the inner structure of the function f. Now, I'll go into the little bit more detail of everything here. But for now, let's look at these details. Now, this r i minus 1, the one that you see here, is the right-hand side of the previous uh, 64 block. This is one of the inputs of that function. So let me mark that down. So this one is an input of the function f. And over here on this side, you see the ki that is right here on the right-hand side, that's ki. This is the other input of that f function. So now I'm going to mark that down as an input. So this is also an input. So that's an input of the function, right? All right. What's going to happen with that? So what's going to happen with that is that uh, this uh, right-hand side of the previous block, which is a 32-bit, because remember, it's a 64-bit, but that was divided into two halves. It's going to go here into this box that is called an expansion permutation. Now, this expansion permutation, what it's going to do is going to take a 32-bit that is here, and it's going to transform it into a 48-bit. And I'm going to explain in this video what this is exactly doing. All right, so this 32-bit is going to be transformed into 48-bit. The key, which is already a 48-bit, is going to be stored with whatever the expansion permutation uh, puts out here, the output here. It's going to be stored with it. So I have a 48-bit coming from the key, a 48-bit coming from the expansion permutation that I will explain in a second. I store it, and of course I get a 48-bit. Now... I'll explain this picture. Now, all this picture that I'm showing you here, all this from the beginning, from here all the way down to that one over there, that one, that is the inner structure of the function f. As you can see here, it's a little bit more complicated, and we have to actually go into the details of all these boxes that we see over there. So, so far, we are up to this point here. So, the key, we already know what that is. Uh, the key, the 48 bits. Now, we don't know where that how we get this from the key, but we can get it from the key. The expansion permutation, I haven't explained what that is, but it gives me 48 bits, sort it, and here I have the 48 bits. Now, this 48 bits that I have here, I'm going to divide it into 8 blocks. Each one of the blocks of 6 bits. Why? Because 6 times 8 is 48. So, the 48 bits are going to be this 6 here are the six fir first bits of this one, of this block. This 6 here denotes the second uh, 6 bits of this guy, and so on and so forth. So this 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6 here, that is all coming from this 
when you divide it into eight blocks of six. These guys that are here are called the X boxes. Now again, what we have to do is we have to go into the details of those. The only thing that you have to understand for this right now is every one of those boxes, what it's gonna do is gonna take a six bit block and it's gonna transform it into a four block bit. Okay. And so what that is going on with all the six bits that are here, right? So the 48 bit is divided into eight blocks of six bits each. And every X, X box here is doing something different. Now, after the, the work of those X boxes is done, um, it, what the output here is for every X box is a four, four bit block. So you have four bits and you have eight. So if you actually count how many bits you have, then you're gonna have 32. And that's what's supposed to happen. The output of the function, of the f function, is a 32-bit. But this is not the output yet. Once this all, you just put them together, this 4-bit together with this 4-bit, together with this 4-bit, it's just a concatenation of all these 4 bits here. You put them together and you get a 32-bit uh, block here. Then you do a permutation of that of these 32 bits. A permutation is not gonna change the number of bits because remember, what a permutation does is simply just reordering these bits. Now once that, those bits are reordered, then you get a 32 bit, that's the output of the function f. So th all that explanation that I gave you there is coming, is what happens here. That's what 32 bit here. So that f function is the picture that I just show you there. Inside that F function, I'm still having some black boxes that I have to explain. All right, so that's, but that's basically the structure there of the F function. Now, what we're gonna look at, at this in this video is what is this uh, box here doing? So this is, remember I, I mentioned that, uh, so that is called the expansion permutation. I didn't know, I didn't know what happened there, it was black the screen for me, maybe it didn't do for you, but okay, let's go on. And so the expansion permutation here uh, is gonna take this, it's gonna get, it's gonna take any 32-bit block and it's gonna transform it in a 48-bit. So the, how is that gonna work? So let me, let's look at that. The way that's gonna, uh, that's gonna work, the expansion permutation, as I mentioned there, what it does is it transform a 32-bit block into a 48-bit block, and we call that the expansion permutation. Now, this is not gonna use the key or anything like that. This is just plain doing a 32-bit block transformer into 48-bit block. So basically what's going on here, so if I have a block here of 32 bits, I apply the expansion permutation, which is call it like that, and then I get a 48-bit block. So how is that done? The way that it's gonna be done is similar to what we did to the permutation, it's gonna be done with a table. So let's look at, at that. So this is gonna be done with a table. Same idea, the same idea we had with the permutation. So you're gonna read this table from top to bottom, left to right, same way you read English. And the same meaning. So what do I mean by that? So what I mean by that is this, the bit in position 32 is gonna go to position one. So let me write that down with arrows. Same way we did it with the other one. So the bit in position 32 is gonna go to the bit in position one. The second entry here that is, you see there is the bit in position one is gonna go to position two. So the bit in position one will go to position two. Let's read the next one. The next one is saying two. This number two is in position three. One two, three. So the bit in position two will go to position three for the next one. The bit in position two will go to position three. Now, if you count how many elements I have in this table, so let's see how many I have here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six elements in every row and I have eight rows. So I have 48. If you actually look at the last one, this one right here, what is that one saying? It means that the bit in position one will go to position 48 as well. 
the bit in position 1 will go to position 48. You see what happens there, right? So what happens there is that uh, both bits that are in pos the, the bit in position 1 will go to position 2, and that same bit will also go to position 48. So the bit position 1 will go to two places at once, two bit in position 2 and two bit in position 48. So let's go into more, a little bit more detail about this, what this is, uh, what is going on in here. So, so what I have here is, is this. I have my 32-bit block, and I'm going to apply the expansion permutation. Basically what it is, is I'm just going to transform this uh, 32 bits in a 48-bit, and using that table. So what's going to happen there? So let's see, where is this one going? Well, I have to look at uh, my table, right? So what is one? What is uh, one here, which is here in this piece of the table, is going to position two and is going to position 48 as well. So whatever uh, zero and one I have here will go to both position one and position 48. So let me mark that with an arrow. So whatever is inside that block box here, it will go to position two, position two, and it will go to position 48. All right. So let's say, for example, just to give an example here, let's say you have a one there. What that will mean is that I will have a one here, and I will also have a one over there. All right. So let's look at something else here. So 32. As you can see here, I'll have already 32. So my bit in position 32 will go to position 1. So let's say, for example, just to put an example here, let's say in position 32 here, I have a 0. Then that pos that bit in position 32, as you can see here, uh, should go to position 1. So let me do that. I'm going to use another color here. So let's say I use this one. This bit in position here will go to position to position 1. So in this particular case, because I have a 0 there, and then I will have a 0 right here. All right. And let's do one more. Let's, let's, say, let's see where this uh, uh, bit in position 2 goes. So le let's go back to the table. I actually already have it here. I don't have to look at my table. I already have it here. The, posi the bit in position 2 will be go to position 3. So the bit in position 2, let me use another color. The bit in position 2 will go to the bit in position 3. And just for example, let's say it's a 0 there. So that will go to a 0 right here. And that's exactly how it goes. So this, what is going to happen is all this block of 32 bits is going to be transformed into this block of 48 bits. Unfortunately, my errors are are hiding the, the numbers, but I have a 48 bit here and I have a 32 bit right here. And that's what's going on here. That's what's going on with that table, this table here. So it's transforming the anything that has a 32 bit block into 48 bit block. And let me go back all the way up here. And that is exactly what this expansion permutation is doing right here. It takes anything that has a 32-bit and transforms it in a 48-bit. So that's what the expansion permutation is doing in this case. And of course, we have to then later explain what these all boxes here mean and what this permutation means, but they will come in time. All right, so, so this expansion permutation is actually not taking into consideration the key is just, just acting on the right hand side of the previous block. All right, so so that's the picture I have here, the picture that we just did over here. A much better picture, so let's do a better picture, would be this one. So this is, a, uh, this is actually a picture of that permutation. So as I mentioned there, the bit in position one will go to position two, so this one will go to position 2, and it will go to position 48 as well. It's going to do that. And also, let's use another color. The bit in position 2 will go to the bit in position 3, and so on and so forth. Now, if you look at this bit in position 4 here of the 32 block, this bit will also go to two other blocks. It will go to uh, 
position 5 and it will go to position 7. Now this not don't get confused here. These numbers are not the actual values of the of the um, boxes here. The boxes here will either have zeros or ones. These numbers here represents the position. So position 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. The same is going to happen with the number 5 for example. Number 5 will also go to two positions at once. Whatever is the content of this box which is either a zero or a one will go to position 6 and will also go to position 8. So that's how the expansion permutation is working. It's transforming this 32-bit block into the 48-bit block. And why is that the case? Why do I need a 48-bit? Let's go back to the picture. So I'm going to scroll up all the way here. Let's go back to the initial picture of the, of the F function. Because I want to sort it with the key, and I know that the key is a 48-bit, to uh, make a bitwise sort, I need a 48 uh, block here. Because if I do it with this one, then there will be some bits that don't have corresponding values. So that's why you want this 32-bit to be transformed in a 48-bit so you can sort it right here. So we already know what this one is. So it's basically another table, lookup table. So it tells you how to transform a 32-bit block into 48-bit block so you can do the sort with whatever the key is here, which is always a 48-bit block. Now, in the next video, what we're going to do is we, we're going to look at these boxes because we already know what this is doing. So it's big to white source. So we know what this computation is as long as we, as we know what this block is and what this one is. And we already know what this one is because it's coming from the expansion permutation. So what we will look at the next in the next video is what is at these things doing here. These things. And in particular, what is going on in here. I actually already explained what that is. You take the 48-bit block and divide it into 8 equal six big blocks and every six bit block is gonna be transformed with a, this kind of box that I call X boxes and these X boxes are gonna be kind of similar to the tables uh, we use for this expansion permutation so in the next video we'll actually I'll actually explain a little bit more about what is the process of this uh, is going on in here in these Xboxes here. So I will see you in the next video.